Hello and welcome to Alex Cooks, the number one cooking show of YouTube. Now, what shall we be cooking today? Well, we shall be cooking butternut squash and, and hold on, chickpea curry. That's the stuff. Now, in the slow cooker as well. Look at this. It's a slow cooker crock pot load of stuff. Yes. Now, without any further ado or whacking of leafy objects, we shall now go to the ingredients. One medium butternut squash diced. Two times 400 grams of chickpeas drained. One small onion chopped. Two cloves of garlic crushed. 400 gram can of coconut milk. One bunch of fresh kale rinsed and roughly chopped. 250 grams of frozen peas. 400 gram can of chopped tomatoes. 700 milliliter vegetable stock or water. 3 tablespoons of yellow curry powder and one teaspoon of salt 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 Okay, now we are, let's get cooking. Okay, so now we are going to prepare our butternut squash. First by chopping off the ends. There we go. And also the other end too. Look at that cut. It's a smooth cut, isn't it? Smooth, like a Michael Jackson criminal. There we go, slice again. And guess who's back again. Shady's back. Why am I singing that song? Anyway, you slice the skin off and down the edges. Um, yeah, so you keep doing this until all the skin has completely been removed. Okay, now we're going to cut this apart of the squash in half. And we're going to remove all of its seeds. Here we go, the gouge them out. And just keep doing this until all the seeds have gone. Okay, so now I've uh, prepared my, I've diced my squash, sliced my onions, and also crushed my garlic. What we're going to do now is we're going to lump all of this into the slow cooker. Okay, we're not necessarily going to start cooking just yet. We're just going to put our veggies in. And garlic. So our next step is to start by pouring in the uh, vegetable stock. There we go. Now we're going to pour in our tomato sauce. In this goes as well. There we go. Wonderful. Wonderful. I think that should do. And then go to chickpeas as well, third of all. Right, now I shall mix this together before we add in the coconut milk. Okay, now we are going to add in our curry powder and salt. There you go, in your trot. And last, but certainly not least, the addition of coconut water and milk. Oh, flip. I'm just going to take a little nibble of this because this looks quite nice actually. And then. Oh, it's not too bad actually. I'm just gonna keep. Just gonna get. Uh, okay, we're just gonna use what we've got right now to mix all together. There we go. 
actually quite creamy coconut milk. Okay, so now all of our ingredients are now in the slow cooker aside from the kale and the peas. Now I shall proceed to slow cook this over the course of five and a half hours. And then in the well, after f five and a half hours has passed, we cook the kale and the peas and uh, then put them in enough for another 30 minutes. Okay, so it's now been about five and a half hours. We are now going to put in the remaining ingredients. The frozen peas. And hold on. That's the ticket. Frozen peas and our kale. So which is some of which has gone all over the floor. I'm going to take this here. Hold on, I'm just going to get a bit more kale out in there. Now I'm getting the spoon. Good old wooden spoon. No one likes a wooden spoon. Well, except for the metal spoon fans, I think. <laughs> anyway, we're just going to mix this all in. We're going to put the lid back on and we're going to cook it for one more half hour. It shall be all ready for consumption. Okay, now our food has now completely arrived. It is ready for human consumption. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of this. Okay, a big bit of this actually. Just get on the, get on the fork, please. You're betraying your species. Okay, here you go. This is what it looks like. Down the hatch. Not bad. Um, yeah, the can really taste the curry sauce on this. It tastes wonderful, spicy as heck. Your device is perfectly cooked too. I might add a um, surgery device. Yes, I think another culinary success from my kitchen. Um, yes, well done, me. Anyway, if you like this video, do be sure to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this on your Facebook and Twitter. And also follow my social media on Instagram, Facebook and my blog. I shall see you in the next video.